Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm just back with an update and a final review on this hair. This review is so like late. Actually, okay, I said that about my last review. They're not late, but if you are new to my channel, you will know that I've been trying to stretch out my reviews. I've been trying not to do them back to back to back because I want y'all to actually know that I'm wearing this hair. A lot of people accuse me of not wearing the hair or whatever the case may be. And I actually do wear the hair. Um, just some people be wanting me to wear the hair for like five years, you know. I'm not being serious, but you know, they be wanting to wear the hair for like ever. And I have too many wigs and, you know, things like that to just wear this hair for feel me. No, but I wear it for a good amount of time to let y'all know the rundown and the specs of everything like i've had this hair in well i've had this wig for about a month and as y'all know i don't sleep in my wig not usually unless it's like a frontal wig or something like that and i don't really sleep in it too often i take them off but i also wear them throughout the day while i'm working and doing other kind of activities so me giving a update and a final review i you know i don't wore the hair it had been through rain snow you know all that kind of stuff like that so anyway let's just get down to the spiel so anyways this is the vip beauty hair on ally express um this is a brazilian water wave now everybody gonna be like oh my god you know we remember you did the maxine water wave and the ally motor water wave and i know people gonna say out of all the water waves which one do you like best and blah 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 i don't know i may put that in a separate video i'm not sure um but we all know I hated the Alamogu water wave. Okay, let's just keep that out there. But anywho, um, yeah, this is the VIP Beauty water wave. This is what it looks like. All right. Now, I don't have any products in it. The only thing that I did put on this hair was water and conditioner. Y'all already know I do the same mixture every time. It's water, conditioner, and serum in a bottle. Like, probably like three pumps of serum in a bottle. And that's how I control the frizz. And I keep the hair maintained and have it all, you know, looking all sweet or whatever, you know. And for the baby hair, y'all know, I just use just regular gel. So, anyways, uh, the inches that I have are, I think I have... 20, a 20 inch closure I don't have a frontal this time I think I have a 20 inch closure and I have 4 bundles of 24 inches yeah 20 inch closure yeah cause they I wanted a 24 inch closure but they only stop it uh 20 with the closure or something like that so they sent me a 20 closure and four bundles of 20 inch now the reason why i got all the same lengths is because i have said this in my previous videos whenever you get curly hair you want to get all the same lengths you don't want to do different lengths now if you get straight hair that'll be fine but when you do curly hair it, when you get different lengths it's gonna look real real choppy and it's just not gonna look right and you're gonna have to end up cutting it and layering it just do it all the same length girl and once you get it in if you want to layer it or whatever you want to do or whatever then do it like that but don't do the you know different length things just in my opinion it doesn't look right it look like stair steps okay it just does not look good all right so anyways yeah i got a, a closure i actually haven't had a closure in so freaking long so i'm trying to get back used to the whole closure thing girl because i'm so used to frontals now the closures are kind of like weird to me they are more versatile in my opinion not far so as parting but it's like taking my wig off and putting it back on it's kind of not like a frontal where you have to tag it down and keep it on for a little minute you know what i'm saying so i like that i can take it off when i get home because i do like snatching my wigs off and throwing them to the side y'all already know <laughs> the wigs be getting on my nerves so anyways yeah um pretty much the hair has been okay the only con i have about this hair is the frizz okay Ugh. but that's like what most curly or wavy hair that i have had lately or whatever is frizz like i, I don't know you're gonna have to get you some type of some type of frizz control now what i use as the frizz control is the serum and the water and the conditioner that i put in the, in the bottle and also the uh i put conditioner on the hair and um Darnell. see i'm gonna have to edit that part out but anyway i also put conditioner on the hair too because that also works as like a frizz type thing that also works as like a a freeze of uh, I'm 
sorry, y'all. He distracted me. Like, he's really distracting me. This is my first time recording a video. <laughs> With this boy in the background. <laughs> Don't ever say hey to the people real quick. So you can be in my video. Since he distracted me, y'all. Come up. This is my baby, y'all. You know what I mean? But anyways. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, sometimes I put conditioner on the hair first and then I'll go and do you know I have it in spray bottle my little mixture and I'll go in and spritz 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 spritz, spritz. and um I'll put it first spritz then after spritz and it really does control the frizz for me a lot of people ask what kind of frizz but I don't buy you know you can get frizz ease frizz control whatever you know what I'm saying but that's just what I do I don't do the extra extra <laughs> I just use the serum for everything. Now, as far as shedding goes, I have not had a lot of shedding. Y'all already know what my song is, all hair sheds. I mean, that's the reality of all. Your natural hair shed, your pube shed, everything shed, okay girl? So it's it's not really a big deal about the shedding, but since this is curly hair or wavy hair, whatever you wanna call it, it does not shed as much as, I, as some curly hair and some wavy hair that I've had, if that makes any sense, which it does. Okay. But um it doesn't shed excessively. This that's basically what I'm trying to say. So as far as shedding goes, nah, it ain't nothing crazy, okay? Um <clears throat> uh, what else? Oh, napping up in the back. It does not do that either. Um and I also told y'all that a lot of people a lot of girls say, Oh, it napped up in the back. Make sure you're laying your tracks right. Because if you're not laying your tracks, right or if you're laying them too close and you're stacking them or you're doubling your tracks and stuff like that that could really cause your hair to nap up in the back and you have a lot of tangles and things like that you have to make sure you're also spacing those back tracks out too sometimes um us girls we only space the top out and we put the back so close together and it causes tap tangling and matting and you know i'm not gonna go through a whole lesson about wig making and sew-ins but i mean that's you know that's just how it goes just be mindful of that while you're making the wig so anyways yeah uh not a lot of tangling not a lot of shedding now the closure whatever the closure is pretty good i didn't do much to the closure i did not bleach this closure i did not dye this closure the only thing that i did was i did a little bit of plucking because it was a free part closure i did a little bit of plucking and i also added concealer to the part i haven't added concealer to a part y'all in forever okay but i went back to the old school method and i added concealer to the part and i did lay a few baby hairs these are not my natural baby hairs these are the baby hairs uh well that i created because baby hairs uh didn't come on the closure which is not a big deal to me i just you know grab a few baby hairs off the thing you know what i'm saying just whoop 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 that's how i just do mine i mean it's not a big deal you can cut baby hairs if you want to but with closures y'all it's not necessary but you do what you want to do you know what i'm saying to each his own girl so anyway i just laid a few baby hairs because it just makes it look a little bit more natural to me instead of having like a straight across hairline like you just got a haircut or something yeah it make it look a little bit more natural when you had a little little baby hairs right there you know what i'm saying so i did that um like i said widened the part a little bit and added a little concealer and i got a little swoop swoop like this because i don't like it to be all in my face and plus when i work y'all gotta work with this hair on so when i work it gets everywhere everywhere okay so i put it behind my ears because it started to irritate me and by the end of the day it, it most likely be up in a ponytail you know what i'm saying so anyway and i'm just saying irritate me because i move around a lot at work and this hair gets all in my face then when i go outside it blows all in my eyeballs and stuff like that so it's it it so long it's like booty length hair you know what i'm saying it's this triple type hair <laughs> so if you want some long luscious hair some beach hair which i said this about my other review or whatever but this also falls in the whole category of beach hair so if you want some beach hair this is definitely the hair for you um it's really 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 pretty uh like i said no product in it or anything this, this is just how it's falling right here this is it like it's it's very very pretty i like i said i don't have a lot of complaints about it the only complaint that i can have is the frizz you have to keep this type of hair tame there's any type of wavy or curly hair you got to keep it tame girl again a lot of people contact me about uh water wave hair they're just like oh my god i got my hair my hair was horrible or water wave and curly hair like those type of textures that acquire uh they require you to manage it every day 
y'all contact me like this is straight hair or something like this is some get up and go hair i say this about every curly hair texture kinky hair texture it is not get up and go hair it will never be get up and go hair you have to be prepared to maintain this hair if you if you chose to get any kind of curly wavy texture be prepared to wake up and to manipulate it every day okay unless you're just gonna throw it back in a, in a ponytail and just call it a day but if you want it to look like this you're gonna have to manipulate it which means you're going to have to um wet it and put put a little product in it and comb it out that's just the reality of it all you're not gonna be able to get up take your bonnet off and go out the door see that's what y'all be wanting to do okay y'all spend y'all feel like y'all spending like what two three hundred dollars on these bundles and you feel like the bundles supposed to walk talk and comb themselves no that's not how it works you have to put in some work too baby it's not like that i mean if you go to bed with your hair wrapped you gotta unwrap your hair or whatever and you gotta comb it the way you wanna comb it, right? Your natural hair. So you can't think that this virgin hair just because you're spending your coin on it, that it's gonna do everything itself. Because I can promise you it won't, okay? And if it do, point me to the direction where it's doing that, okay? But anyway, yeah, you just gotta know how to work with it. If you don't have a lot of experience with any type of curly texture, don't get it. I'm just telling you now, because I don't wanna read y'all comments. You know, y'all get real angry in the comments. Okay, y'all get real bucks. I had to delete some on get y'all be just like going hard. Like y'all really know me or something. Like, for real. You know, like I didn't took y'all money. Like I didn't did something like, oh my gosh, you're lying. And they only send you the good hair and they send us trash and we spend all our money on the Good, come on, let down. Look, I don't be having nothing to do with it. whatever y'all be getting sent. I do what I gotta do. I bring to y'all what was brought, what was sent to me. I bring the real to y'all, and I can only be real what I'm alive for. That's what I'm trying to see. Y'all be trying to say, oh, you're, you're getting paid to lie. Getting paid what? I'm trying to see lying for what? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be tripping, but I'm rambling. I'm just leave off right here. Now, would I, would I give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I would definitely give this a thumbs up because I genuinely like the hair, okay? I've been wearing the hair off and on for a month. Like I said, this is a wig. It's not sewn in my head. It's not glued in my head this is a wig okay so yeah i like it um like i said the only thing about it is manipulate manipulation and just learning how to get a little technique down and you're good to go but that's pretty much it y'all yeah, i'm gonna wrap it up here we are pushing 13 minutes any questions comments concerns please leave them down below also link a link to my website will be down below um because this uh this week will be available so a link to my website will be down below my merchandise is on the website and all that kind of stuff like that so yeah that's it i'll see y'all in my next video bye